a quick tutorial on how to schedule an event through Spotlight. So make sure you are logged into uh, Chick-fil-A Home and then under the Reports and Tools tab you are going to select the Spotlight option. If you don't have access to this, this is a quick fix under the Team Member User Admin. Uh, once you are logged in, you'll make sure that you have selected the correct location up here on the upper right hand corner. Uh, I work for a multi-unit operator so there are two locations that I have to choose from. So right now I am going to schedule an event for our family night that is Wednesdays from 4 to 8 p.m. So I'm going to click the engage tab up at the top and um, there are three options now. We get to choose rewards, events, or emails. And uh, thankfully, Family Night is an event and they have a template already created. So you will scroll down to find the Family Night template. Click that and scroll back up so you can see um, that this, these are the details on how to send the event. Um, I do not suggest using the RSVP required feature, um, especially for an event like Family Night. There <clears throat> isn't a limit to how many people can attend, so go ahead and toggle that switch. Um, and then if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the internal campaign name, the event name, the venue address, and then the wording. Um, so you can change the image if you decide to rebrand it and, and go a different direction after the spring but I just leave this image um, as it is. Uh, so I've already created wording for the Family Night event. Um, that is under the suggested Spotlight Rotation Google Doc. And as you can see, um, we've already used the Family Night event template on Spotlight. And we're going to copy this wording right here, go back to Spotlight, select all of this text, and paste. Um, you can change up that spacing so it's a little bit cleaner and I am sending this in Chrome I highly suggest using Chrome uh, some for some reason Safari sometimes doesn't display correctly or maybe there are some glitches in it so Chrome has seemed to work best for me using Spotlight so once you have um, pasted all of your information the correct wording and the key components of this are the date uh, what the guests will receive the time frame and um, the instructions on how to execute this. So I am just going to take a little bit of space out there and pull this in. Um, yes, and then after uh, checking in, the team member will go to the guest table or vehicle to take their order. That is very, very important, along with the family night uh, writing in the special instructions before they submit. So um, this family night is going to be scheduled. So you're going to scroll up to the top. Um, okay, so this first part, adding the dates, this is the actual date of the event. So it's going to be Wednesdays. So we have actually already scheduled out the rest of January. So I'm going to click February 6th. And it is from, again, 4 p.m. until 8 p.m. So we'll check that. 8 p.m. And as you can see, the information over here on the left in the email has now updated. So Wednesday, February 6th from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Slide Road. Um, I do not want to send the email immediately. I actually want to schedule it for a future date. And for family night, we send it the day of at 10 a.m. So they are reminded before their lunch break that don't forget tonight they've been invited to family night from 4 to 8. And then the recipients, I'm going to say all. Um, some RMDs and AMDs limit that to people who express interest or have children, but I want to keep all of our Spotlight customers updated on this. Um, I think if you were to run this promotion over the long term, perhaps creating a special group for family night, people who've attended on a Wednesday in the past. Uh, but for right now, I would like to let all of our 4,500 uh, Spotlight users know that we are having an event. Then I'm going to click continue. It's going to give me a preview of the email. And again, I just read over it and make sure that I am on the right location, that the text looks formatted correctly, that the dates and times are correct. And then once I have verified that all one more time, I click send and it schedules that email to send, again, the day of family night at 10 a.m. Now, if you um, run into an error where maybe your internet freezes up or um, that little red Chick-fil-A um, waiting symbol just keeps going and going and you're not sure if you scheduled the email, you can go click up here on calendar 
and your calendar will probably look a little bit different than mine. There are a lot of items on my calendar, uh, but I am going to deselect the rewards toggle and then I'm going to go to February 6th. Oh, and there it is. Family night is scheduled at 4 p.m. Um, so you are set and ready to go once you have scheduled the email and then verified that's in, that it's in your calendar.